it's Ngan here. I'm passionate about sunscreen and skincare. I talk about it all the time in my channel. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can be the first one to see my video. Also, you might want to follow me on Instagram where I post a lot about sunscreen and skincare and sometimes give away if you might be interested in Choi. I also have a little shop called Amacy on Amacy website and on Shopee. Uh, I imported a unique and Purito products from Korea and they are 100% authentic that I can guarantee you with my reputation. So if you are interested in those brands, you might want to pay a visit at my amc.vn or at my uh, shop on Shopee. Thanks you guys so much. So this topic that I'm gonna talk about is uh, how to know that your skin get irritated and how to treat it. So for many of us, we have several times at least in our life that we will get irritation and redness and our skin doesn't follow what we wanted and what we expected it to be um, and if you ask me of course I have irritation and breakouts um, last time and worse so many times actually uh, so that I learn from the lesson and um, of course then try to find a way to treat it and the reason that we get irritation is, is that we find a product that is not uh, suitable with our skin and another thing that I commonly uh, come across is that um, you use the treatment which is really intense to your skin and your skin cannot uh, take it and it get irritation. That your skin will send you a signal that you need to take a look at uh, what you're using and trying to adjust it. There's another side that when you use the treatment and then you get the purging. Some uh, treatment like uh, BSJ, retinol, uh, retinoin or the... Uh, some other excess treatment and vitamin A derivatives um, uh, products, then you will get some purging. It will get some purging before your skin get better, and uh, it, it that is the how they, they treated um, the acne and the pimples in your skin. There's the first side is really make the difference between the irritation and the purging is when you use the product and you don't seem to see it work. Uh, for example, like after a month, usually if you use like different retinol or tetinoin, it still uh, takes some time for the products to just go into the skin and just, it uh, help to maintain it, it help to uh, speed up the cell turnovers and help to get in the layer in your skin um, to work it. So it's gonna take time, it's gonna take like uh, at least two weeks or three weeks and even a month um, to see the result. And, and after a month, then and you don't see any result in the construct, you will see uh, the opposite of what you expected it to be. It's breakout, it's even more acne and inflammatory acne than it was before and to the point that you cannot control it. The texture is not uh, good, it's, it's so rough. Um, then you know that there's something wrong uh, with the treatment and it is also a huge sign that uh, your skin cannot take it and it sends you a signal that you need to uh, take a look out on what you're using now or uh, you need to consult for your dermatologist or your healthcare provider. There's another side that tells you that your skin get irritation is that your skin is really dry and excessively dry. At the time that I had irritation and I have breakouts, um, that I apply a moisturizer and after two hours then my skin is like completely dry. It's just like the moisturizer disappears in my skin and I feel it's just uh, the texture is so rough and so uneven and um, I got like really tight on my cheekbones and it's just so uncomfortable. It even it's not cold weather and anything, it's just humid and my skin is just so dry. In that case, your skin definitely get irritation uh, and you need to do something about that. Don't worry, I am here to tell you that how to treat your skin and how to take care of your skin when you get irritation like that. Um, and uh, of course, everything, remember, will take time and when I tell you now, now, um, then you uh, go and apply it and just be patient. It's not gonna react badly, but it's gonna work. So it's just take time, okay? So now we know that our skin get irritation and redness and not on other uh, like uh, the process of a treatment. The first thing first is uh, we're gonna look at the cleansing step or on uh, what you're doing every single day because guys, 
uh, seriously, I tell you, the cleansing step could potentially damage your skin if you done incorrectly. And uh, I mean it when I say it. Uh, when uh, back when I had irritation, it's like it's really impossible for me to just find a right product that is not irritate my skin and is not make my skin tingling or redness. It's just so hard. Um, and I will uh, need to tell you guys that to stop every uh, device, facial device that you're using um, to physically cleanse your skin because sometimes it can actually aggressively uh, strip natural moisture in your skin and that is something that you don't want it um, so and something that you feel like the the movement is so satisfied for you and you just go overdo it of course it would just get your skin more irritation and more redness so it's not a happy ending for you uh, so you just gonna stop that uh, at a certain time that when your skin gets sensitivity please uh, switch from cellar water to cleansing oil and cleansing balm um, as soon as you can. Uh, you don't need to use cotton pad when you use cleansing oil or cleansing balm. Um, the cotton pad movement is just really scared me. Just really freak me out because uh, how rough it is in their skin. Last time when I used it and my skin it just uh, cannot take it. It gets irritated. It's just dragging down my skin and um, I feel like my skin is so sagging when <laughs> I do the cotton pad and I, I drag my my, uh, my hands on like that uh, to get rid of the sunscreen or the lipsticks or um, the dirt and oil in my face. So I just switched completely to cleansing oil and that time I switched to cleansing balm um, to use because it's really nourished my skin and it's really gentle. You guys, um, it's not greasy or it's not easy, uh, leaving me any greasiness or oiliness in my face uh, if you choose a good one, okay? And if you have no idea what is a good cleansing oil, um, I will put maybe a link right here or there uh, for you to uh, take uh, some reference on that. Uh, for cleansing balm, um, I haven't done any videos on that. I'm still experienced on that. So, um, But just keep an eyes on that, uh, the cleansing balm product. And I guarantee you, your skin will recover soon. Um, just be gentle with that. And also one more thing that uh, please choose a pH balance cleanser. If you're unsure about your cleansers, go Google it. Um, uh, type the name of the cleanser and then the BH level to see that if the if the BH level is around 5.5 or 6 if it's more than that then <laughs> drop it <laughs> get over it you guys uh it's not worth it last time when i had irritation and when i had breakouts i realized that my skin excessively dry and the acid mantle in my skin is damaged and is unable uh, for them to protect me from any harmful elements from the environment. My texture is so tough and it's so dry. And uh, uh, so that I decided not to wash my face more than uh, once a day. I just washed it um, at night. I cleanse it with a, with a gentle cleansing oil or cleansing balm and follow up with a gentle cleanser. And then in the morning, I just washed it with water and apply a moisturizer or a ser a restore serum and then a moisturizer and then sunscreen of course never forget that and my skin so relieved and so thanks to me um, that I don't expose my skin to so much water and so much of the cleansing uh, steps it's just not necessary and it's just uh, stripping my natural oils in my skin and um, at that time it's really sensitive I need my skin to rest the next important part is the treatment so if you are using any treatment at this time drop it for example that like you're using uh, exfoliants axis AHA, BHA, PHA, uh, retinol, retinol, azelaic acid um, what else what else can potentially uh, irritate your skin uh, hydroquinone but I don't think that many people will use hydroquinone though and also vitamin C as well um, the ascorbic acid uh, firm of the vitamin C that's that thing really irritated skin and you definitely don't want that. Uh, so just stop all the treatment. And you're scared that if you stop the treatment, the, the, the pimples will, and acne will come much, much more. No, it's actually opposite. It actually will give you the time for your skin to just rest and restore. The last time when I used the uh, Chechinoin and with the high dose, the high concentration, but I didn't know that I my skin cannot take it. So I just 
continue to use this like after two weeks then oh my gosh my skin still breaking out it has like really small bumps in my cheekbones and uh, and you can see like a rough texture in my skin um, and if anything happens to my skin my cheekbones the first thing that is up here is really sensitive area in here just really freaked me out last time um, that I thought that the products work but it's actually duh, didn't work uh, and I know that is also when usually when I used normal product it was just fine on my skin and then at that time when my skin got irritated but I used the normal product my skin still get tingling and it still get sensitivity uh, towards the product. Then it's absolutely a sign for me that my skin cannot take it and my skin has to rest. I have to stop all the treatment at that time and just completely go all in all the restore and uh, moisturizing, uh, hydrating products to have to uh, recover my skin. Hi y'all! So I'll come up here to tell you guys that I am gonna stop the video here because it's too long already and I'm gonna have a second part of the video where I'm gonna introduce you some of the gentle and non-irritated products for your sensitive and breakout skin and those products that I personally used and it worked effectively in my skin and I hope it will work for you too. Mm, so don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because when you subscribe it, the YouTube algorithm will know that you like the test of the video and will suggest you some other helpful similar video. I will see you guys in my next video so stay tuned and I wish you guys have a healthy and glowy skin. I love ya! <laughs>